So the temo plus ides is to give somebody permission to do something. How do you think you would ask somebody permission to do something? So is it okay if I eat this? Koreo tabe tabe temo ides ka. Perfect. So all you've done is put ka at the end of the sentence to form a question. So if we want to ask anybody permission, please may I, or is it all right if I, just add a question. Temo ii desu ka? Kore o tabete mo ii desu ka? Please may I go there? Or is it okay if I go there? Soko ni itte mo ii desu ka? Soko ni itte mo ii desu ka? Is it okay if I enter or go in here? What was the word we had for enter? Hatte. Hatte. So is it okay or is it all right if I enter here? Here. Yeah. So is that koko ni? Yeah, because it's here. you're entering to here. It's the destination of where you are entering. Koko ni hai temo i desu ka? Koko ni hai temo i desu ka? And is it all right if I leave or exit from here? Koko wo dette mo ii desu ka? Koko wo dette mo ii desu ka? And is it all right if I exit from or leave from over there? Uh, asoko ni... Oh, we're going out of. To go out of, or the o sounds together. Oh, asoko wo. Asoko wo dette mo ii desu ka? Asoko wo dette mo ii desu ka? You can think of... And when you're leaving some place, that place is marked by O because it's having something done to it. Alternatively, you might think it easy to think of it as being you're going out of. So the, the sounds out of is similar to the O, O marker. And it's a short, um, when you're saying dette, it's not dette, it's de, dette. May I eat with chopsticks? O hashi de tabete mo ii desu ka? O hashi de. Tabete mo ii desu ka? May I speak with him in Japanese? Ka kare to Nihongo de Hanashite mo ii desu ka? Good. Kare to Nihongo de Hanashite mo ii desu ka? And if we want to give permission, we can simply say, Hai, ii desu. Yes, that's fine. Hai, ii desu. And you've also learned hai dozo at the beginning of the foundation course, and that's fine too. Hai dozo. So if we wanted to ask, um, may I play golf tomorrow, how would we say that? Ashita golfu wo shitemo ii desu ka? Ashita golfu wo shitemo ii desu ka? And yes, you may. Hai dozo. Or another way we could say it? Hi, Zehi. So I wasn't thinking of Zehi, I was thinking of Ides, but Zehi is, is a great answer to give because Zehi is absolutely no problem, of course, go ahead and play golf. So so well done. So we actually got three answers we can say. We can say Hi Dozo. Hi Dozo. Hi Zehi. Hi Zehi. Hi Ides. Hi Ides. If you need to refuse permission, then you can say Ie Ikemasen. Ie ikemasen. And ikemasen literally means no, it's not possible, or more naturally, no, you may not. And in the foundation course, we were quite strict on how you pronounce the word ikemasen, to not go. And the reason why we were particular about your pronunciation, because sometimes ikemasen can sound quite like ikemasen, and they mean completely different things. So ikemasen, no, you may not, or that's not possible. So, may I play tennis tonight? Konban, tennisu wo shite kudasai. So, that's okay if you wanted to say, this evening, please play tennis. But what we want to say is, may I play tennis tonight? Konban, tennisu wo shite mo ii desu ka? Konban, tennisu wo shite mo ii desu ka? No, you may not. It's not possible. Ikemasen. So is ikemasu a verb? 
Yes, we can think of ikimas as a verb, but it's a type of verb with a, with a special meaning. So in this case, it's only used to refer to, no, you may not. Do you mind if I eat with a knife and fork? Knife to fork de tabete mo ii desu ka? Knife to fork de tabete mo ii desu ka? No, you may not. Ie, ikemasen. Ie, ikemasen. Or, yes, you may. It's good if you do. Hai, ii desu. Hai, ii desu. Or, please, go ahead. Hai, kudasai? Do, dozo. Oh, hai, dozo. Hai, dozo. So, you wouldn't normally say hai, kudasai. Generally, kudasai follows a noun, in which case the noun is followed by an O marker with kudasai, or kudasai comes with a verb, in which case the verb has to be in the te form with kudasai. So you can say um, sushi o kudasai, please give me sushi, or can I have some sushi, or sushi o tabete kudasai, please eat sushi. Okay, so we've done a lot of work on the te form of the verbs, so we will just do a short recap on the different usages we had for this te form. So how did we say please do? Shite kudasai. Shite kudasai. Please eat. Tabete kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Please see or please watch. Mite kudasai. Mite kudasai. Please work. Shigoto o shite kudasai. Shigoto o shite kudasai. Please speak Japanese. Nihongo o hanashite kudasai. Nihongo o hanashite kudasai. Please come by train. Densha de kite kudasai. Densha de kite kudasai. Please enter the restaurant. Restaurant ni haite kudasai. Restaurant ni haite kudasai. Please leave the hotel. Hotel u... Um, hotel wo? Kite, no. What day must you leave? Oh, yeah. Dete kudasai. Hotel wo dete kudasai. Please drink Japanese sake. Nihon no sake o nonde kudasai. Nihon no sake o nonde kudasai. Please read a French book. Furansu no hono yonde te kudasai. So, oh no, yonde kudasai. Furansu no hon wo yonde kudasai. Please buy Japanese food. Nihon no tabemono wo. Katte kudasai. Nihon no tabemono wo katte kudasai. Please go by bus. Basu de itte kudasai. Basu de itte kudasai. Please write the report in Japanese. Reporto nihongo de kaite kudasai. Reporto nihongo de Kaite kudasai. And please write the report in hiragana and katakana. Hiragana to katakana de reporto o kate kudasai. Kaite kudasai. Hiragana to katakana de reporto o kaite kudasai. And we also use the te form with mo i desu ka to say is it okay to or to ask permission. So, is it okay to write the report in Romaji or Roman letters? Reporto o Romaji de. Ku. Kylie is writing. Oh, yeah. Kaite. Um. So, is it good if I? Kaite mo i desu ka. So, literally, what we are saying is even if I write, is it good? That's how we ask permission. So, even if I write, is kaite mo. And is it good? I desu ka? Roma ji de reporto o kaite mo i desu ka? And of course, the order of Roma ji and report can be changed around if, if we want. So is the e of i desu something to do with no? No, it's not. Just the they same just sound. sound. They sound similar. Ie is no. 
Edith is, is good. They just sound similar, but they're not connected in meaning. Is it okay to go to Tokyo by train? Densha de Tokyo ni ittemo i desu ka? Densha de Tokyo ni ittemo i desu ka? Is it okay to work today? Kyo wa. Oh, don't need the wa. Kyo, um, shigoto shittemo i desu. And you're right in saying that we don't need a wa here to mark kyo. If we wanted to put in the wa with kyo wa shigoto shitemo i desu ka, we're highlighting kyo and it would just change the nuance of the sentence. So what we're really saying is, is it okay if I work today with the emphasis on today? But the sentence I asked you didn't really have that emphasis on, on today, so you were right in, in leaving it out. In another situation, it might have been okay to put in the kyo wa. And then we were able to say that it's okay to do something by just leaving out the question mark or ka at the end. So it is okay to is temo i desu. So it is okay to enter the restaurant. Restaurant ni hai temo i desu. Restaurant ni hai temo i desu. And it's okay to play golf. Golf o shite mo i desu. Golf o shite mo i desu. And it's okay to wear a kimono. Kimono o kite mo i desu. Kimono o kite mo i desu. And we also use a te form to say I will try and do something to see what the outcome would be. So we use a te form and joined it to what verb? When we were trying to do something. Oh, me mas. So I will try and eat sushi with chopsticks. O sushi o o hashi de tabe tabe te tabe te mitte pa tabe te mi mas. Perfect. O sushi o o hashi de tabe te mi mas. And I will try and write an email in Japanese. Nihongo de emailu o kaite mimasu. Nihongo de emailu o kaite mimasu. And we also use the te form when we want to make our sentences longer. So rather than saying two separate sentences, we learned how to say two sentences together as one sentence. So how would we say, I will speak Japanese and write a report as one sentence? Nihongo Hanashte Um can't think what adds, adds on to the end of the day now. Hanashte That's it. Because when we're joining two sentences together, we're just using the te form on its own. The first verb is in the te form with nothing else added. Oh it joins right at the end. The, and the, then the joining bits at the end, yes. And then we just use the last verb, but the last verb is either mas, mashta, mm -hmm. masen, and so on. We don't really do anything to the last verb. It's just the first verb is in the te form. So I will speak Japanese and write the report or write a report. Nihongo o hanashite reporto o um, kakimasu. Nihongo hanashite reporto o kakimasu. So you need the te when we are joining two sentences together, you need the te form because the te form is an important shape of the verb, which we need when we are joining it to anything else. I will read a comic book and watch a Japanese movie. Manga o yonde, Nihon no eiga o mimasu. Manga o yonde, Nihon no eiga o mimasu. So we've talked about level of politeness in Japanese and the mass type of verb that you've been using is known as a neutral polite form. It is the form you should use with Japanese people until you get to know them better. You can then use more casual forms, but only with people of a similar age to yourself or people of the same background. And although we are not going to focus on the use of this casual form, you will hear it amongst Japanese people. And there's one casual form which we are going to 
introduce because we can be it can be used in a number of different ways and it can be used to create new and useful structures that can add to the language you are learning. So these new structures are created using the casual form, but they are not casual in themselves because we will add other endings to them to make it, it polite. So the form we are going to use is the casual form of the past tense. So it's the casual form of masta. And the casual form of the past tense ends in ta or da. And it's the casual way of saying I, you and so forth did something. And it's very easy to make this form once we know what the TEF form is. So with the TEF form, we added TE or DE to all our verbs. To make the TA ending, all we do is add either TA instead of TE or DA instead of DE. So TABETE would become TABETA. TABETA. NONDE. NONDA. NONDA. SHITE. SHITA. Shita. Haite. Haita. Haita. So all we do is we, uh, we use the TEF form and replace the TE with TA or DE with DA, whatever the case may be. So tabete becomes tabeta by simply replacing TE with TA. And how this is used as a casual form, we can have the sentence I ate sushi. How would we say I ate sushi? Sushi o tabemashita. Now, if we wanted to say that exact same sentence in a casual way, we could say sushi o tabeta. Sushi o tabemashita and sushi o tabeta mean the exact same thing. The only difference is that sushi o tabemashita is more polite. Sushi o tabeta is more casual or more informal. But because we don't want to cause any offence when we go to Japan, it is best if we use mass ending for all our verbs or des ending or deshta or whatever the case may be but you will hear the casual form being spoken but we need to be careful who we use this casual form with they have to be people our own age or people of a similar standing in society to us but we will now show you how you can use a lot of this ta form to build on our structures our japanese structures and it will help us to express ourselves in a lot of um, different ways. So let's build on our structures by adding something to the ta or the da ending to make a new phrase. So you are familiar with the word tokidoki. What does tokidoki mean? Sometimes. And on its own, toki means time. So for the purpose of this structure, we can think of it as meaning when or the time when. So we can talk about a particular point of time in the past. And if we follow words like tabeta and ita with toki, it will mean when I went or when I ate. So tabeta toki would mean when I ate. Tabeta toki. And ita toki would mean when I went. Ita toki. And this is not a casual form when used with toki. You can't say tabemashita toki. You can only say tabeta toki. So when I wrote. Kate. Kylie writes kaite toki yeah and just be careful with how you're pronouncing we've moved from the te form when i talk about the ta form kaita toki kaita toki when i wrote the report reporto ka kai toki and we've to put the ta ending onto uh, yes. it kaita toki reporto wo kaita toki so when i wrote the report I wrote it in Japanese. Um, reporto kaita toki nihongo o would it be kaimashita now? Kaimashita if we bought the report, but oh. we wrote it. Um, kakaimashita. Kakimashita. Kakimashita. What we were trying to say in the sentence was, when I wrote the report, I wrote it in Japanese. Your sentence was correct, but what you were saying was, when I wrote the report, I wrote Japanese, but you're better saying when I wrote the report, I wrote by means of Japanese, through Japanese, or I wrote in Japanese. So it would be Nihongo de would be more natural. So reporto o kaita toki, Nihongo de kakimashita. Reporto kaita toki, Nihongo de kakimashita. Can you model this new form with the polite form, which is the mashita? 
You can put the that's two different forms in the one sentence. That's a very good question. So in this sentence, because we have used kaitha with toki, that in itself is not a casual form. And our last verb in the sentence has been kakimashta. And it's always the last verb in the sentence which will determine the tense we use and the politeness we use. So because our last verb is still ending in mashta, it's a polite sentence. So there's another form you're not going to tell us at this moment that would continue to make the sentence um, a casual sentence among friends that would be instead of the, the mashta ending. Is there, is, is, sorry, that's the question. Is, is well, there actually, another form that you're not teaching us at the moment? You, you actually can say that yourself because we know that the ta form is the casual form of the past tense. So in this particular sentence, our sentence ends in kakimashta. So if we wanted to say this whole sentence in casual form, we know already what the casual past tense of kakimashta is. It's the ta form. So we would just simply replace kakimashta with kaita. When I went, itta toki. Itta toki. When I went to Japan, nihon ni itta toki. Nihon ni itta toki. When I went to Japan, I saw Mount Fuji. Itta toki ni. No, we need to say I went to Japan. So Japan will is our destination. I went to Japan. Okay, yes. Nihon ni itta toki. Uh, Fuji san o mimashita. Nihon ni itta toki. Fuji san o mimashita. When I bought. Kaite toki. And that sounds like right. Kate toki. And be careful that we're, we're really pronouncing the ta form and we're oh, trying to distinguish oh. between te and ta. Yeah. Kata toki. Kata toki. When I bought the camera, I was in Japan. Camera o kata toki. Nihon ni arimashita. Okay, so Nihon ni imashita. Yes, because you're you're breathing. And you're correct there in putting nihon ni because that's marking the place where you are existing. And the verb at the end of the sentence is an imas verb. So nihon ni imashita. Kamera o katta toki nihon ni imashita. When I left the hotel, I saw Tanaka. Hotelu o. Oh. What day must you yeah. leave? De te de ta toki. Tanaka san wa mimashita. And you saw Tanaka. Tanaka san wa o mimashita. And we don't need our two particles together. Oh, Tanaka san o mimashita. Hotel o deta toki. Tanaka san o mimashita. When I entered the department store, I saw a kimono. Departo ni haite. Um, Departo ni haita toki. Kimono o mimashita. Departo ni haita toki. Kimono o mimashita. Now, how do we say, I make a reservation? Yoyaku. Yes. Yoyaku o shimas. Yoyaku o shimas. And when I made a reservation? Yoyaku o shite toki. Oh no, shita toki. Yoyaku o shita toki. So when I made a reservation, I spoke in Japanese, through Japanese. Yoyaku o um, make? Yes, sh shimas. Shita toki, Nihongo o um, hanashimashita. Yoyaku o shita toki, Nihongo hanashimashita. And in this case, it's okay to say Nihongo o hanashimashita. We could equally have said Nihongo de hanashimashita. So when I made the reservation, I spoke Japanese, or when I made the reservation, I spoke in Japanese. By now, we are familiar with the ta form of the verb. We can add the end in koto ga arimas after the ta form. Koto means a thing or a fact, and ga is the marker used with arimas and imas. 
and it means to exist. So literally we are saying a fact exists. Just as we said, a restaurant exists. How did we say restaurant exists? Restauranga arimas. Restauranga arimas. So kotonga arimas is a fact exists. Literally, that's what we're saying. And I know we have already covered another word for a fact or a thing. What was that word? Mono. And mono is more like a tangible thing, where koto is more an intangible or abstract thing, but they both mean a thing or fact. When you add koto ga arimas after the ta or the da ending of a verb, you are saying, I have done, or I have had the experience. So literally what you are saying is, the fact of having done something exists. As before with toki, which meant when, although the ta or the da ending is a casual form on its own, it is a polite form when you add kotonga arimas to it. Also, it is different to using mashta for a past action. So we can think of the difference between I went to Tokyo, which would be Tokyo ni ikimashita, and I have been to Tokyo, Tokyo ni ita kotonga arimas. So by adding kotonga arimas after words like nunda, yunda, ita, and so forth, we can now add to our growing range of structures and we can say things like I have been to Japan, I have seen Mount Fuji. And this point would be used particularly if we're doing something which would be quite unusual and something that we have done not in the near past. So we wouldn't say kotonga arimas if we've just done something yesterday, but if we've done something a few months ago or a few years ago, we can use kotonga arimas. So are you saying kotoga? Koto. Koto is a, a fact, a fact or a thing. Then we're using our particle nga. Right. And then we're using the existence verb. So I have been would be I have gone. Ite, it, so ite koto and ga it, arimas. You're, you're very close, but koto ga arimas needs a particular form of the verb. We need a particular jigsaw shape oh, to ta. fit with koto ga arimas. And ta, ta is the form of the verb to fit with koto ga arimas. Ita koto ga arimas. Ita koto ga arimas. And I have eaten. Tabeta koto ga arimas. Tabeta koto ga arimas. I have done. Shita koto ga arimas. Shita koto ga arimas. I have spoken. Hanashita koto ga arimas. Hanashita koto ga arimas. I have bought. Kaima koto ga arimas. Okay, and the ta form of kaimas? Oh, kata koto ga arimas. Kata koto ga arimas. I have drunk. Nonda koto ga arimas. Nonda koto ga arimas. I have written. Keita. Kylie writes. Kaita koto ga arimas. Kaita koto ga arimas. I have left. Um. What day must you leave? Oh yes. Deta koto ga arimas. Deta koto ga arimas. Okay, so we've said I have been is ita koto ga arimas. So how would I say I have been to Japan? Or in Japanese, as we would say, I have had the experience of going to Japan. And Japan is our destination. Nihon ni ita ga arimas. And what comes after ita? The fact. Oh, ita, ita koto ga arimas. So the whole sentence, I have been to Japan. Nihon ni ita koto ga arimas. Nihon ni ita koto ga arimas. I have been to Japan with my parents. Ryoshin to Nihon ni itta koto ga arimas. Ryoshin to Nihon ni itta koto ga arimas. I was just thinking that last one is actually I've gone, isn't it? Not I've been. Well, it's a good question. What you're saying is I have I have once had the experience of having gone to Japan mm. with my par with okay. my parents. If we wanted to say I went to Japan with my parents, that would simply be. Watashi wa ryoshin to nihon ni ikimashita. 
I went to Japan with my parents. But there's a different nuance if we are saying Ryoshinto Nihon ni ita koto ga arimasu. And the difference in the nuance is that we are saying that we, we have done something in our lives and, and it's used when it's something unusual, like not everybody has been to Japan or not everybody has been to Japan with their parents. So it's to say something that, that you have done and wouldn't be usual for most people to do. For example, for a non-Japanese person, we might be able to say sushi o tabeta koto ga arimasu. I have eaten sushi. But it wouldn't be natural for a Japanese person to say the same sentence because for Japanese people it would be a very natural thing for them to eat sushi. So it's used for something which would be unusual and you're making the point that yes, you have actually done this at some stage. So I have seen Mita koto ga arimasu. Mita koto ga arimasu. I have seen Mount Fuji. Fuji-san o Mita koto ga arimasu. Fuji-san wo mita koto ga arimasu. And if you listen to how Mickey said this sentence, you might have picked up that the O sound sounded slightly more like a wo sound. And you will hear O being pronounced as wo in some contexts in Japanese. Either is okay. It just will depend really on what comes before or after the O particle. So O or wo, you'll hear both being used. How would we say, I have drunk? Nonda koto ga arimasu. Nonda koto ga arimasu. I have drunk Japanese sake. Nihon no sake o nonda koto ga arimasu. Nihon no sake o nonda koto ga arimasu. I could say, I've drunk Japanese sake with my Japanese friend. Nihon no sake o nihon no tomodachi to. Nonda, uh, nonda koto ga arimasu. Nihon no sake o nihon no tomodachi to nonda koto ga arimasu. April is a beautiful time in Japan as it is cherry blossom season and many Japanese and tourists go cherry blossom viewing where they have a picnic under the cherry trees. This is called hana mi. You know the word for flower in Japanese, it's hana. And you also know the word for to see or to view which is mimas, so hanami is flower viewing. And if we want to say that we do flower viewing, how do you think you would say, I do flower viewing? Hanami shimas. And we need something to... We need hanami o shimas. Hanami o shimas. So I have done... Shita koto ga arimasu. Shita koto ga arimasu. I have done cherry blossom viewing. Hanami shita koto ga arimasu. Almost perfect, but you need a little marker after hanami. Hanami o shita koto ga arimasu. Hanami o shita koto ga arimasu. And I have seen the cherry blossoms, I have viewed cherry blossoms in Tokyo. So literally what we are saying in Japanese is I have done cherry blossom viewing in Tokyo. Tokyo de hanami o shita koto ga arimasu. Tokyo de hanami o shita koto ga arimasu. And many Japanese people drink sake while viewing the blossoms. So they are doing two things at the same time. They are drinking sake and they are doing flower viewing. And how do we say while drinking? Nominagara. Nominagara. So I have had the experience of doing cherry blossom viewing while drinking sake and we'll break that down. So the first action we're doing is we are drinking sake. Sake o um, nomimasu. Sake o nomimasu. And now we're going to do that action. We're going to be drinking sake while doing something else. So how do we change the ending of nomimasu? Sake o nominagara. Sake o nominagara. And the next part of the sentence, which we are going to join to sake o nominagara, is I have had the experience of doing cherry blossom viewing. So, cherry blossom viewing, I have done. Sake o nominagara. Hanami o. Um, 
したことがあります。Perfect. 酒を飲みながら花見をしたことがあります。I have eaten. 食べ,た食べたことがあります。食べたことがあります。I have eaten sushi. 寿司を食べたことがあります。寿司を食べたことがあります。I have eaten sushi with chopsticks. 寿司をお箸で食べたことがあります。Perfect. 寿司をお箸で食べたことがあります。And we can also say the negative, I haven't done, I haven't had the experience. How do you think you would say this? What do you think you would change koto ga arimasu to? Koto ga arimasen. Koto ga arimasen. And sometimes you might say koto wa arimasen. And it's okay to say either koto ga arimasen or koto wa arimasen. So, how would we say, I have never done cherry blossom viewing in Tokyo, or I haven't done cherry blossom viewing in Tokyo? Tokyo ni. And we're doing the action in Tokyo. We're not existing, oh, we're actually yes. to doing. Tokyo de. Um, Hana. To see. Me. Hana me. Oh. Um, so you do cherry blossom viewing, so. Oh, shita koto ga arimasen. Good. Tokyo de hanami o shita koto ga arimasen. And we could also have said here, Tokyo de hanami o shita koto wa arimasen. Both of those are okay. I have never done cherry blossom viewing while drinking sake. Sake o nomi nagara. Hanami. をしたことがありません。酒を飲みながら花見をしたことがありません。And similarly, we could have said, 酒を飲みながら花見をしたことはありません。I have never eaten sushi with chopsticks. 寿司をお箸で食べが、no, 食べたことがありません。寿司をお箸で食べたことがありません。And equally, we could say, 寿司をお箸で食べたことはありません。And to be even more polite, we could have put the polite prefix o before sushi, as you did with hashi when you said o hashi. And of course, we can ask someone if they have ever done something by just turning this into a question using our spoken question mark, ka. So how would we say, Have you ever gone to Japan? Nihon ni ita ga arimasen ka. So you're saying, you're, what you're doing is you're just turning it into a question by putting ka. So you don't need to make the verb negative. You don't need to say arimasen ka. And don't forget that ita has got to be followed by koto, because it's koto ga arimas is the unit you're adding. You can think of koto ga arimas. A fact exists as being one unit. So, have you ever gone to Japan? Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu ka? Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you ever spoken Japanese with a Japanese person? Nihon jin to nihon jin de. Now, if you say Nihonjin to, Nihonjin de, you're saying you're correct in marking Nihonjin with to for with a Japanese person, but then you said by means of a Japanese person. Yeah. But I think you're, you want to say you're speaking the Japanese language. Nihonjin to, Nihongo de, Hanashita koto ga arimasu ka? Nihonjin to, Nihongo de, And we could also, instead of saying Nihongo de, we could also have said Nihongo o in this situation. And the order of Nihongo o and Nihonjin to could also have been changed around. But what you said is, is perfect as well. Have you ever read a Japanese book? Nihongo hon o. So we're going to have to join、oh, those two now. Nihon、together. no hon o. 
Li honno honno. Um, yon, yon da koto ga arimasu ka? Nihon no hon wo yon da koto ga arimasu ka? And there are two ways to say a Japanese book. We can say Nihongo no hon or we can say Nihon no hon. Nihongo no hon is just making the point that the book is written in Japanese. But Nihon no hon is a Japanese book, which might not necessarily be in the Japanese language. It could be a book from Japan. Have you ever bought Japanese sake in New York? And what was the word for New York? New York. New York. New York. New York de Nihon no sake o katta koto ga arimasu ka? New York de Nihon no sake o katta koto ga arimasu ka? And if we want to confirm that yes, I have, how do you think you would say that? Hi, um, exists. Hi, arimasu. Perfect. Hi, arimasu. So literally what you're just saying, that exists, or it exists, the fact exists, but it remains unspoken. So, hi, arimasu. And if we wanted to say, no, I haven't. Ie, arimasen. Ie, arimasen. You know the phrase, ides. What does ides mean? It's good. It's good, or it's, it's okay. And there's another phrase in Japanese, which we can use using ides, it's Hoga ides, and this means it is better. So hoga is used to make e into a comparison. But I think if we just think of hoga ides as being one unit, it is easy for us to remember. So maybe we can hear Mickey pronounce hoga ides. Hoga ides. And you notice that the ho is a long sound. Hoga ides. And if we follow words like mita or nanda, etc., with this hoga ides. We can use it to give gentle advice to people. And it is used to say things like, you should go by bus, or you should take medicine. So the verb comes first, and it's in the ta form, and then it is followed by hoga ides. So tabeta hoga ides would mean you should eat. It is better that you eat. But in natural English, we would say you should eat. Tabeta hoga ides. So how would you say, you should drink, or it is better that you drink. Nonda hoga ides. Nonda hoga ides. Or you should go, or it is better that you go. Itta hoga ides. Itta hoga ides. You should go by taxi. Takushi de itta hoga ides. Takushi de itta hoga ides. You should go to the restaurant by taxi, or it is better that you go to the restaurant by taxi. Restaurant ni taxi de itta hoga i desu. Restaurant ni taxi de itta hoga i desu. And you correctly put the marker ni after restaurant because that is where you are going to, it's the destination. If our friend is sick, we might want to advise them to take some medicine. The Japanese word for medicine is kusuri. Kusuri. Kusuri, we can think, could Sue read the label on her medicine? Kusuri. And in Japan, they drink medicine. They don't take medicine, they drink medicine. So how would you say drink medicine? Kusuri o um, nomimasu. Kusuri o nomimasu. And you should take medicine, or it is better that you take medicine. Kusuri o nonda koto ga i desu. So, if we're giving somebody advice using i desu, it's ho ga i desu. Literally, we are saying, it would be better if you took medicine. So, we use the ta form with ho ga i desu. We can think of ho ga as being the e or equivalent in English, or more. So, it is better, it is more good. The i desu is good. So, it is more good to do something. It is more good if you take medicine, or in natural English, you should take medicine. So hoga, we can think of it as being either the e or English equivalent, or the more equivalent. So it would be better if you took medicine. Kusuri o nonda hoga i desu. Good. Kusuri o nonda hoga i desu. 
You should take medicine every day. Mainichi kusuda. The word for medicine. Think of could Sue read the label on her medicine? Kusuri. Mainichi kusurio nonda. Um. And our ending is hoga idas. We add hoga idas to the ta form of the verb to give gentle advice. Nonda hoga idas. Mainichi kusurio nonda hoga idas. You should eat. Tabeta hoga idas. Tabeta hoga idas. And notice how Mickey is elongating the sound of ho. So it's ho, not a short ho. You should eat an apple. And the word for apple in Japanese is ringo. Ringo. And we can think of Ringo Starr's record label, which was the apple label, ringo. So you should eat an apple. Ringo o tabeta ho ga ii desu. Ringo o tabeta ho ga ii desu. And you should eat an apple every day. Mainichi ringo o tabeta ho ga ii desu. Mainichi ringo o tabeta ho ga ii desu. It is better if you make a reservation. So how did we say make a reservation? Yoyaku shimasu. And the, the little marker. Yoyaku o shimasu. Yoyaku o shimasu. And it is better if you make a reservation, or in English we'd say you should make a reservation. Yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. You should make a reservation tomorrow. Ashita yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Ashita Yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. And tomorrow you should make a hotel reservation. Ashita hotelu de? Hotelu o? Uh, no, you're saying it's, it's the reservation of the hotel or the hotel's reservation. Ash, ashita hotelu no yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Good. Ashita hotelu no yoyaku o Shita ho ga ii desu. And you should make the reservation by phone tomorrow. Denwa de yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. And don't forget our time expression. Tomorrow. Ashita denwa de yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Ashita denwa de yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Or we might make a reservation by email instead of the phone. So tomorrow you should make a reservation by email. Ashita me mailu no by means of email. Oh mailu de yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. Perfect. Ashita mailu de yoyaku o shita ho ga ii desu. How did we say, I have time? As for me, time exists. Watashi wa uh, toki. Toki so, arimasu. You're correct in, in identifying toki to mean time. But we used. Oji oh, can. Yes. We mm. used toki when we were talking about a time when a verb happened. But if we're just talking about to have time, we use the word jikan. Watashi wa. Jikan arimas, and we need a, a marker. Jikan ga arimas. Watashi wa jikan ga arimas. So how would we say tomorrow you have time, therefore you should play tennis? So here we have a reason, and the reason is because you have time. So that will come first, and that will be followed by kara, and then the rest of the sentence you should play tennis. Jikan ga arimasu kara tenisu o shita ho ga ii desu. And where would our time expression come in this sentence? And what is our time expression? The word Ashita. for tomorrow. Okay, what was the whole sentence again? Tomorrow you have time, therefore you should play tennis. Ashita wa um, jikan ga arimasu kara tenisu o shita ho ga ii desu. Ashita wa 
時間がありますから、テニスをした方がいいです。And you don't necessarily have to put in a s h t a w a in this sentence because we don't really want to highlight. We can just use it as a normal time expression. You have time and money, therefore you should go to Japan. So we need to connect time and money with a marker that's very similar to the word and in English. To. So time and money exists, therefore you should go to Japan. Nihon ni. So this would be the second. You give your reason first. Yeah. The reason you should go to Japan is that time and money exists. So the reason comes first, followed by kara, and then. You should go to Japan. Jikan to okane o. The marker with arimas. Oh. Jikan to okane ga arimas. Arimas. Therefore. Kara. Arimas kara. <laughs> Nihon ni ita ho ga ides. Jikan to okane ga arimas kara. 日本に行った方がいいです。I have a reservation, therefore you should eat there with me. We'll put our reason first. The reason is I have a reservation. So, as for me, a reservation exists. Therefore, you should eat there, and there will be the location where I'm going to eat. So, it'll have a particular marker. And you're saying eat there with me. So, with me will also have a particular marker. So, I have a reservation, therefore you should eat there with me. Watashi wa yoyaku ga arimasu kara. Watashi to soko de tabeta ho ga i desu. Good. Watashi wa yoyaku ga arimasu kara. Watashi to soko de tabeta ho ga i desu. We now know many ways to use the ta or the da ending of verbs to create new expressions. We can also add ra to these verbs that end in ta or da, and then we can talk about hypothetical situations, such as if I go to Japan or if I buy. All we do is add ra to the ta or the da ending, so nonda would become nondara, nondara, if I drink, and shita would become shitara, shitara. If I do, and so on. And this can be used not just with I, but with you, he, so forth. We've also done temo to add on to a verb, and this means even if I do something. With temo, itemo is even if I go somewhere. And generally, this can be used about something that has already happened and will also happen in the future. So even if I go to London, I never get on the tube. So that's not a hypothetical situation. So, how would you say if I eat? Tabetara. Tabetara. If I buy? Kattara. Kattara. If I see? Mittara. Mittara. If I speak? Hanashtara. Hanashtara. If I read? Yondatara. Oh, no. Yondara. Yondara. If I write, Katara, Ka. Kylie is writing, Kaitara, Kaitara. If I do, Shitara, Shitara. If I come, Kitara, Kitara. If I leave, Detara, Detara. If I enter, Um. When you enter, you say, Hi. Haitara. Haitara. If I go to Japan. Nihon ni itta itara. Nihon ni itara. If I go to Japan, I will see Mount Fuji. Nihon ni itara. Fuji san o mimas. Nihon ni itara. Fuji san o mimas. And a lot of the times when you go to Japan, it's not always possible to see Mount Fuji because it's got cloud cover. So maybe it'd be better if we said, if I go to Japan, I want to see Mount Fuji. Nihon ni ittara 
富士山を見たいです。日本に行ったら富士山を見たいです。Or we could say, if I go to Japan, I will try and see Mount Fuji. 日本に行ったら富士山を見,見て、uh, if, we, if we try and do something, We, we do it to see what the outcome will be. Oh, yeah. Mi, mi te mi, mi mas. Okay, and mi te mi mas, I will try and see. And I want to try and see. Mi te mi tai des. Perfect. Nihon ni ittara, Fujisan wo mi te mi tai des. If I go to France, France ni ittara. France ni ittara. If I go to France, I will drink wine. Furansuni itara wine o nomimas. Furansuni itara wine o nomimas. And if I go to France, I will drink French wine. Furansuni itara France no wine o nomimas. フランスに行ったらフランスのワインを飲みます。If I leave the hotel, ホテルを出,て出たら、ホテルを出たら、If I leave the hotel, I will buy flowers. ホテルを出たら、花を買います。ホテルを出たら、花を買います。So how would we say if I go to Japan? 日本に行ったら。日本に行ったら。If I go to Japan, I will eat with chopsticks. 日本に行ったら、お箸で食べます。日本に行ったら、お箸で食べます。If I go to Japan, I will try and eat with chopsticks. Nihon ni itara ohashi de tabe tabete tabete mitai des. Okay, and that, that's a great sentence. Not what I asked, but it's, it's probably even better. So what you just said is if I go to Japan, I want to try and eat with chopsticks, which is perfect. Um, what I'd asked you to do wasn't as difficult as that. I just said, I will try and eat with chopsticks, which would have been, o h a s h i de tabete mimas. Nihon ni ittara, o h a s h i de tabete mimas. But you went one step further and said, I want to try and eat with chopsticks, which is great. Nihon ni ittara, o h a s h i de tabete mitai des. If I phone Mr. Suzuki, I will speak Japanese with him. Suzuki san o denwa o Suzuki san ni denwa o shitara. Um, what was the second half? I will speak Japanese with him. Nihongo Nihongo de kare to um, hanashimas. Suzuki san ni denwa o shitara. 日本語で彼と話します。And here we, we could have left out the kare to if we wanted to because it would have been understood from the context that it is him that we are speaking to. But it is not wrong to leave it in. And you have used the correct marker with him to show that it's with him that I am speaking to. If I phone Mr. Suzuki, I will try and speak Japanese with him. Suzuki san ni. Denwa, denwa o shitara, kare to nihongo、uh, ha, hanashite, hanashite mitai des. Suzuki san ni denwa o shitara, kare to nihongo o hanashite mitai des. And again, that's a great sentence. What you said is, I want to try and speak with him. I asked you to say, I, I will try and speak with him, which would have just been, Hanashite mimas. But 
you did one step more than that, which was I wanted to try and speak to him, so that's even better. Hanashte mi taides. And equally here we could have said Nihongo de in this sentence. Nihongo de or Nihongo o, they're both okay. And we could have left out the kareto if we wanted to. So we could have said Suzuki san ni denwa o shitara, Nihongo o hanashite mimas or Nihongo o hanashite mi taides. So how would we say, if I go to Japan, I don't want to eat with chopsticks. So we'll first of all do, if I go to Japan, as the first sentence. And then we'll join that on to the second part of the sentence, I don't want to eat with chopsticks. So how did we say, I want to eat? Tabetai desu. And I don't want to eat? Tabeta, tabetakunai desu. Good. So, if I go to Japan, I don't want to eat with chopsticks. Nihon ni ittara o hashi de tabetakunai desu. Nihon ni ittara o hashi de tabetakunai desu. And if I go to Japan, I don't want to write in romaji. Nihon ni ittara romaji o... So, by means of romaji. Oh, romaji de... Kataides. It's very regular. We're just replacing the mass form with taides. So kaki mas becomes kaki taides. And then to say I don't want to write kaki takunaides. So if I go to Japan, I don't want to write in romaji. Nihon ni itara romaji de kaki takunaides. Nihon ni itara. Romaji de kakitaku nai desu. And you'll notice when Mickey is pronouncing romaji, it's a long ro, romaji. Romaji. So if you go to Japan, you should eat Japanese food, or it is better if you eat Japanese food. So what was the ending we added to the ta form of the verb to say it is better that? Hoga i So if you go to Japan, you should eat Japanese food? Nihon ni ittara, Nihon no tabemono o tabeta hoga i Nihon ni ittara, Nihon no tabemono o tabeta hoga i If you go to Japan, you should buy a kimono. Nihon ni ittara, Kimono o kai. Kaita is to write, so to buy. Just take the first syllable and take a breath. Kate. Oh, kata ho ga i desu. Good. Nihon ni ittara kimono o katta ho ga i desu. If you go to Japan, you should speak Japanese. Nihon ni ittara nihongo o hanashita ho ga i desu. Nihon ni ittara nihongo o hanashita ho ga i desu. And if you go to Japan, you should try and speak Japanese. Nihon ni ittara Nihongo o hanashite mi tai desu. Hanashite mi ta ho ga i desu. Good. Nihon ni ittara Nihongo o hanashite mi ta ho ga i desu. If I go to Japan, I want to eat sushi. Nihon ni ittara o sushi o um, to eat. Want, um, want yeah. to eat. Uh, just tapetai desu. Yeah. Nihon ni ittara o sushi o tabetai desu. If we list a number of verbs, adding ri to the ta or the da ending, and making sure that the last verb is followed by shimas, so we could end up using this verb twice, we will be saying, I do such things as playing golf, playing tennis, and going to work. So it's a way of listing a number of things. And the context in which this sentence would be used would be if somebody asked you, what did you do at the weekend? You're not going to tell them about every single thing you did at the weekend. You will just pick out a few things like you went to the cinema, you went out for dinner, and you watched TV. So you're just giving them a sample a few different verbs. So we join our verbs together with the ta or the da ending plus re, 
So nanda would be nandari. And we join them together and the last verb is followed by shimas. So we'd have something like, if I wanted to say, I do such things as watch movies and do shopping, I'd say, ega o mitari, kaimono shitari, shimas. Ega o mitari, kaimono shitari, shimas. It also simply means I watch movies and shop, implying that this is a sample of things you do and there's no particular order. So how would I say I do such things as reading emails and writing reports? Mailu o shitari. So you're reading the mail rather than mailu doing the mail. Yondari. Um lepoto o katari. Kaili is writing. Kaitari. And then you have to finish it with shimas. Mail o yondari. Reporto kaitari shimas. I do such things as drinking with my friends and eating delicious food. Tomodachi to nondari. Oishi tabemono o tabetari shimas. Tomodachi to nondari. Oishi tabemono o tabetari shimas. We can also use this phrase when talking about the past tense. We simply change shimas to shimashita in the past tense. So I did such things as going to concerts and shopping. Concerto itari. And the concert is your destination, it's where you're going to. Oh, concerto ni itari. Ka kamono. Kaimono. Kaimono itari. So I did shopping. Kaimono o shitari. Shimas. Uh, shimashita. Yes. Concerto ni itari. Kaimono shitari shimashita. And maybe what you were trying to say is, I went shopping, which would have been okay as well. That would have been, Konsato ni itari, kaimono ni itari, shimashita. So it depends whether you wanted to say, I went to shopping or I did shopping. Kaimono o shitari or kaimono ni itari. How did we say, when I went to Japan? Nihon ni itta toki. Nihon ni itta toki. So how would we say, when I went to Japan, I did such things as flower viewing and seeing Mount Fuji. Nihon ni itta toki. Um, Fujisan o mitari. Hanami o shittari shimashita. Nihon ni itta toki. Fujisan o mitari. Hanami o shittari shimashita. And we could have also said this in the following order. Nihon ni itta toki. Hanami o shitari, Fuji sano mitari, shimashita. Nihon ni itta toki, Hanami o shitari, Fuji san o mitari, shimashita. When I went to France, I drank wine and spoke French with French people. Furansa? Furansu? Furansu um, ni I, itta toki. Um, I drank wine. Wine o nom nomi. Oh, just in the past. Well, nomi mashta. Well, you're saying I did such things. So we're oh. adding the re onto the da ending of nomi mas. No, oh, non da. Non da re. Spoke French with French people. Furansu jinto. Furansu go o hanashimasu. So when we're listing a number, a sample of verbs that we have done, we will put the, the ta or the da form okay. followed by ri. Hanashtari. And then we end the whole sentence. Shimas. Shimas. And in this case, it was the past tense. Shimashita. Good. Fransu ni itta toki, wain o nondari. Fransu jin to fransu go o hanashtari shimashita. And when I went to France, I drank wine, spoke French with French people, and ate delicious food. France ni itta toki, wine o nondari, France jin to France go de hanashitari. Um, ate delicious food. Oishi tabemono o tabetari shimashita. Good. Fransu ni itta toki, wine o nondari, Fransu jin to 
フランス語で話したり、おいしい食べ物を食べたりしました。And equally here we could have said フランス語を話したり。So previously we have used the te form to join a number of actions together, and that's saying that there is a particular sequence involved. The difference between using the te form to join verbs together or to join one or more sentences together and using the tali tali shimas form is that this is really just picking out a sample of activities and it's more what did you do during your summer holidays you're just going to pick out about two or three activities to give somebody a general idea of how you spent your time or what did you do yesterday or what did you do at the weekend so it's like a list yes but you're not giving all of the list you're just giving a sample from the list so the other person will have a clear idea of, of what it is you did. With the te form, you're just simply joining one sentence onto the next. There's a sequence and you do something in that order. And we also did te kara when we were joining two verbs together. With te kara, it differs because te kara is saying immediately after you do one verb, you do the second verb. So tabete kara, nomi mas, immediately after I eat, I drink. So when we use te kara, we could use it in a sentence like immediately after I drank wine, I spoke French with some French people or I spoke French with French people. So how would we say that sentence? Wine o non de kara, France jin to France go de hanashimashita. Wine o non de kara, France jin to France go de hanashimashita. Or we could say, even if I go to France, I don't speak French with French people. Now, how did we say, even if I go? We, we had the, the verb in the te form followed by mo. Itemo. And even if I go to France. Fransuni itemo. I don't speak French with French people. Fransuginto. Fransugo. And the order there doesn't matter. You can say Fransujinto, Fransugo o, or you could say Fransugo o, Fransujinto, Hanashimasen. Either is okay. Finally, how would I say if I go to Japan, no matter where I go, I don't want to speak English, I want to speak Japanese. Nihon ni ittara. No matter where I go. Doko ni ittemo. I don't want to speak English. Ego de hanashi takunai desu. Nihon ni ittara. Doko ni ittemo. Ego de hanashi takunai desu. And of course, we could have said ego o hanashi takunai desu also. And I want to speak Japanese. So how would we say, I want to speak Japanese? Nihongo hanashitai desu. Good. Nihongo hanashitai desu. So hopefully now we all have plans to go to Japan and use our Japanese and try speak Japanese with Japanese people. And how would we say, I'm off to Japan, but I'll be back. Nihon ni itekimasu. Nihon ni itte So, well done. Or as they say in Japanese, Subarashi des. It is wonderful. Arigato gozaimas. Arigato gozaimas. Sayonara. Sayonara. Congratulations! You've now reached the end of the Michelle Thomas Method Advanced Japanese course. You now have an excellent understanding of how the language works and can manipulate different parts of the language to create numerous new structures. Neve Kelly and her co-author Helen Gilhooley hope that you've enjoyed this course as much as they have enjoyed presenting it and that you will continue to recap on the structures covered in the course and use them to expand your knowledge of Japanese. But for now, we've run out of time, or as they say in Japan, jikan des, time's up. We hope that you now want to go to Japan, so you will try and speak Japanese every day. Nihon ni ikitai desu kara. Mainichi nihongo wo hanashite mimasu. Sayonara.